Hey boaters, it's Jim from Ray Marine with an Axiom Tech Tip. So one of the things we encourage you to do regularly is to update the software in your Axiom multifunction display. In fact, now is the time to do it because we are about to release Lighthouse version 3.15, named after the French Caribbean island of Guadeloupe. It's actually very easy to update your Axiom and there's two different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you how in this short video. So the first way you can update your Axiom is using its onboard Wi-Fi capability. You can connect to the internet from Axiom. Uh, Axiom will reach out to Raymarine servers. It will check to see what software is available that is different from what's on your boat. And not only will it update your Axiom, it'll update your other Raymarine peripherals too. So if you have a radar or an autopilot or a sonar and it's in need of a software update, you'll get them all at the same time. Let me show you how to do it. So now we're looking at Axiom's home screen. To update your software, you're going to come down here to the settings option. So touch settings. And right now you can see that I am running the latest version, version 3.14.108. But if I want to do a software update, I can hit the button over here to update software. I have two choices. I can check an onboard SD card or I can check online. So let's choose the online option. It's going to advise me to connect to my Wi-Fi hotspot. So if I needed to put in a hotspot and a password, I can go to Wi-Fi settings right here, select the network that I want to connect to, type in my password, and then I could proceed. So I am already connected to our company hotspot. I'm going to close out of here, and I can just hit the start button. What Axiom does now is it goes online and it looks for updates to see what's available and it presents them to me in this menu. Now I could just select it from the list on the left, click the update button, and it would begin automatically. Now the other way I can update an Axiom is from a pre-formatted micro SD card. So you could actually go over to raymarine.com. You can go to our support section and there's an option there for updates, software updates, and you'd pull down the latest version of the Axiom software, program it onto a micro SD card, which is this little guy here, and then bring it back to your boat and insert it into the card reader on your Axiom. So I have already pre-programmed this with version 3.15, the new Lighthouse Guadalupe. So let's update this display. So I'm actually going to go around to the backside since this is an Axiom, and I'm going to plug this card in to its card reader. If you had a chart already in there, you'd just go ahead and remove it. Um, but I plug this card in, you'll notice I get a pop-up on the screen, and let me show you what that looks like. <clears throat> it says software update found. Do you want to install this now? I am going to say yes. So you can see it does a similar process to uh, what it did via the Wi-Fi update. It queries the card, looks to see what's on there. And you can notice that it has actually ticked the box to update my Axiom. It does that because it sees a newer software version than what is already on the display. If you want to see additional information about what it's about to do, click the little info button right here. And you can see the current version on my display is 314.108, which we saw out in the settings menu. And it's going to bring it up to this new version, 315.62, which is Lighthouse Guadalupe. So I am ready to go. I am going to hit the update button. And we're off and running. So you'll notice as we are making progress here, there is a little slide bar across the bottom. It gives you an indicator of how much time is remaining. Generally, these Axiom software updates are pretty quick. Once you have them downloaded to the machine, or if you have it pre-installed on a card, that figure about maybe five to six minutes to perform an update of the display. If you have more than one Axiom display, uh, what will actually happen is uh, they will upgrade uh, each in order. Usually the uh, repeater displays uh, will each update one by one. And then finally the master display will update itself last. And during the time that a system update is going on, all of the Axioms on board the boat will have a screen similar to this, or they'll say software update in progress so that anybody that walks up to it knows that there's something going on uh, and you don't want to interrupt that, just allow it to finish. So now you can see my Axiom is in the process of restarting. It has completed the software update. Now it is 
um, beginning a fresh start on the new software. This is the splash screen you normally see when your system is booting up. In just a moment, it will be ready to go. When it finishes, there is a confirmation message, and there it is on the bottom. Let me show it to you here on the big screen. So now that the software update is complete, we do get a pop-up message, software successfully updated, in this case to version 3.15.62, which is the new Lighthouse 3 Guadalupe. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you like more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. You'll be notified about additional videos, live broadcasts, and other events here at Raymarine. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon.